Gemini, hello, how are you? Gemini, welcome to your general message for the first half of March of 2022, okay? Messages will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, okay? I want to take this time out to thank you guys so much for your time, your love, your support, your positivity, the good vibes that you bring. Thank you so much. I give all of that good energy right back to you as well. All right, Gemini. So don't force a message if it doesn't fit. Okay, you guys make sure that you're using your own intuition and discernment when you're watching or listening. If the messages do resonate, then please go ahead and hit that like button, share and subscribe. Also, let me know how, uh, how it's working out for you guys in the comment box below. Okay. These messages are general. They can relate to any aspect of your life. Love, finances, family, uh, whatever. Okay. Let's get one more shuffle. To the sea. Okay. Card number seven. To the sea. Gemini, I see you uh, being in your emotions pretty heavily during this time. Okay. I, I feel you sitting alone, isolated maybe, but with your feelings. Okay. You could be trying to seek clarity in your feelings. You could be trying to seek, uh, you know, some understanding of some sort about your feelings. Okay. But you are headed in a direction. I do want to point that out. You are headed in a direction. Okay. You can see all around you. All right. So um, you're pretty clear about uh, how it is that you feel as well during this time, Gemini. And I believe that you also uh, will be communicating that to others during this time. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull some tarot. deck here we have the world okay so there could be a chapter coming to an end could be a chapter coming to a close all right you may be about to walk through the threshold of a new opportunity or a new environment okay and emotionally i can understand why that may be a lot to process why that may be a lot to have to take in. It's a lot to even have to communicate, okay? There's some big finish or some big ending that's coming, okay? And uh, emotionally, I feel like as though you want to be prepared for it as well as you want to make sure that the others around you are prepared for it as well, okay? Your central energy here is the king, uh, or excuse me, actually, no. That is the emperor. It's the Emperor Reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we've got the Emperor Reversed showing up in your central energies here. You could be moving away from this em Emperor here. With you being out in the boat, you could be sailing away from this person. Okay, this person represents someone who does not have a plan. They do not have any clear, set ways of achieving their goals. Yes, they may be in a position of power, but... They may be, you know, uh, they may be abusing that power as well, okay? But also they don't have any focus or any drive on how to uh, achieve something. So this could be about, uh, this could be a boss, okay? Um, like a really bad boss, possibly. And you're getting ready to elevate to a different position. 
okay in the past here we have the ace of wands so wow so it feels like to me that in the recent past many of you have probably already been offered a better deal somewhere okay now this doesn't have to exclusively be about work but um but it could also be just uh in anything else that you're involving yourself with and in, in, you know in, in in any aspect of your life but I definitely feel like here with this Ace of Wands energy, you have been, uh, someone has reached out to you to bring you some sort of opportunity. Um, it's clearly um, trying to, uh, you're using this as a clear way to like set yourself up to get into the right direction. Okay. Because yeah, the Tower card is here. With the Tower and this Emperor energy, this person here, they, they, they're not doing anything but bringing trouble in times. Okay. They're not uh, walking on steady territories here, and they probably never were, okay? Because their style of leading, their style of teaching, or their style of, you know, um, being out in front, okay? Their style of that is from a place of ego, okay? So I feel like for many of you, you kind of get into a boat. <laughs> you kind of get into this lifeboat before the ship sinks in a way. All right. So we have the 10 of wands here that's popping up here in the future that you're aiming for, that you're wanting to have. And with this 10 of wands here, this energy, um, you know, it feels again like there is a, a energy that's closing up, a cycle that's closing up for you. Um, it feels like you want to make sure that all your T's are dotted and all your I's are crossed. Uh, and actually, um, <laughs> in a way, it's kind of crazy because in a way, this Ten of Wands energy, it feels like whatever you whatever you had going on with this situation, you went ahead and wrapped it up before the tower fell. OK, it feels like you went ahead and put that to an ending before the tower fell. OK. Also see that you go from a uh, beginning to an end here. So um, this is truly spirit saying that. You're ending your cycle here. At, you're ending your time with this particular situation. All right. Under this reversed Aries, uh, excuse me, reversed uh, emperor, we have the king of pentacles. So there, now there's the leader that you want. There's the teacher that you want. Okay. This, uh, this King of Pentacles, it feels as though their energy shows up as a sturdy foundation for you when um, everything else kind of goes a little topsy-turvy, okay? Uh, hmm. There's something about these two uh, people here, this King of Pentacles and this Emperor emperor reversed there's something about them not getting along um it feels as though i feel there's like a little bit of animosity here because one person feels they somebody feels like they're pulling gemini away from the other and that's what's causing the tower but what they don't understand is that gemini was already going to go to where gemini was going to go to and this tower was always going to fall but there's like this whoever this reversed emperor is it's almost like where they're kind of putting the blame they're not even blaming themselves for the issue they're blaming you know, you, Gemini, or they're trying to say, oh, well, somebody came and tried to take you away from me, or they tried to, you know, sabotage us by getting to you. In the current environment here, we do have the moon energy, all right? So with the emperor reversed uh, and the moon card right here being in a, in a diagonal with the ace of wands, uh, I wouldn't be surprised, Gemini, that whenever you aligned yourself up with this emperor energy here, I wouldn't be surprised if they like didn't give you all the specifics of what you would be dealing with. Um, you know, of course, they banked on your they banked on you saying, hey, this is a great opportunity. I'll ride with it. You know, and here's somebody who is presenting themselves, right, as an emperor, as a leader. But really, you know, like I said, this person is anything but anything but that. OK, and they may have been a little bit dishonest about why you're even in the situation that you're in. Uh, I'm seeing on this bottom row here, Gemini spirit is telling me that some of you may have had to. Um. Some of you may have had to like uh, swallow your pride and ask for help from someplace you really didn't want to possibly. Okay. 
in your hopes and fears here, we have the King of Wands. Wow. The King of Wands shows up here in the hopes and fears. I feel like um, with it being also fire energy as well, uh, it feels like it's, I get this feeling, Gemini, where it's like you're, it's almost like you're wondering why this person can't be more good, why this person can't be more on the up and up. You know what I mean? Um, because this King of Wands is not abusing their power. This King of Wands, in fact, actually probably feels like to me should be the rightful sole owner of whatever. Okay. But they're kind of having to play the background only because, you know, of politics, maybe. Okay. Because of the politics of the situation, they have to play the background by someone who is, who has more power, but maybe less experience. They get to run the show. Well, right into the ground, we see. <laughs> okay. And your outcome here is the Page of Pentacles. So there is something that you walk away from the situation with. Okay. You walk away from a situation, Gemini, during the first half of March of knowing what not to be. Uh, when it comes to like uh, professional atmospheres, okay, um, I feel like you, you may have uh, looked up to this person as like a mentor to some degree. Um, but once you're really become to understand like what it is that this person like really is about and how the trajectory that they had you on really isn't adding up to much here. Um, you're looking at what you have and you're like, you know what, I'd rather do it the honest way, or I'd rather do it, you know, uh, this way, at least this way you have a solid backing here with the King of Coins. Okay. All right, let's get a couple of more cards just to clarify. Okay, we have the Empress, the Star, and then the Three of Swords. Okay, the Empress, the Star, and the Three of Swords. I feel like um, Spirit is telling me this is uh, kind of an intro as to like why you are so emotional during this time. It feels as though you are in pain. Um, because that it feels like your heart is in pain because you can't necessarily have what it is that you really want um or what it is that you're trying to grow out of one situation it's um there's there's a lot of pain there that you're trying to overcome okay this empress energy here uh this three energy and then this three energy here i definitely do see like a lot of healing for you during this time uh it feels like maybe there's a lot of hurt because of like expectations not being managed that's where i was getting at more so but with this tar card i definitely feel like you're not losing faith you're not losing hope you're still being protected you're still being guided okay and i feel like you may even be able to turn your pain into uh something that is you can actually use for your gain okay so let's pull um some uh advice cards here let's pull some energy Okay, wolf, independent, loyal, free. You're a lone wolf, Gemini? <laughs> are you? It feels like you are. But you are independent, okay? Like I said, we saw you from the beginning sitting right here by yourself in this water. Okay? Right now, whatever you're moving through right now, I feel like you are doing it alone, but it is bringing you out of a really, really bad a cycle by someone who uh, this leader just did not have your best interest at heart. I choose. Uh, it, it, I don't know. It could be for some of you. It could be religious or spiritual, or it could be um, in the workplace. Okay, or it could be a mentor or a mentoree. Some something something to that degree. Um, but yeah, this person you definitely looked up to them. However, they uh, they really didn't have your best interest at heart, and um, 
But ultimately, though, you do find a different way. You do find a different avenue of approach to whatever it is that your goal is, whatever it is that your dream is, okay? And it may have hurt. And it may have taken a long time. Gemini, I'm going to go ahead and leave your message there. If you guys resonated to this, go ahead and let me know how it's working out in the comment box below. Uh, go ahead and also um, hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons as well. Gemini, I hope to see you guys in the next message. I'll talk to you later. Bye.